these feel different, don't they? Certainly do, Bruce. Uh, we watch these horses individually dominate races. All of a sudden, they all come together as one. And uh, I like the barrier draw for Very Elegant. I wanted her to draw out if she was going to, to win this race, and I like that she's drawn out. And ultimately, that's the only reason I've gone with her just over Animo. But uh, I'm a massive fan of Montefilia. Zaki's going to make the play, and Jewess is looming as an absolute star of the turf. So we've got just some sort of clash to watch in the next few minutes. Strap yourself in, Bruce. I've got the best seat in the house, Dino, and you've got a beauty as well. To you, Ben Way, from the tab for the hot horse for the Queen Elizabeth. And who else could it possibly be than very elegant? About 45% of the hold. Twice that of what we're holding with Animo, who has twice that of what we're holding on Zaki. But very elegant, the best backed by a space. You can't market this. You can't make it up, can you? It's a feeling inside all of us right now. We know that something quite remarkable is going to take place. We don't know how it's going to end for that filly. She's done everything. But this does, I think, even elevate her one extra step up. It's about all these horses meeting at the right time in their preparations, in the right form, and being able to triumphant over each other. And this is some race when you go through each and every one of them. It's the promoter's dream. It can't get any better than this. I know you're nervous. It's a big one for James McDonald. He's got that special affection for very elegant Caitlin. We've waited a long time. It'll be epic. Here's Darren Flindell for the Queen Elizabeth. The Queen Elizabeth stakes $4 million. Stand by for a start. They're ready. And the gates are back now, and they're off and racing. Zaki's left well, together with Think It Over. Montefiore is very handy, together with Dallas San and Animo quickly speeds through, gets into fifth position. In advance of Very Elegant, the nine thunderstruck Mount Popper, and Dewis has been snagged back to last. Jamie Carr's going to let Zaki roll, and he's going to clear the pack now as they go to the mile crossing, and it's Zaki in front by a length and a half. Think It Over rolls up on the outside, going to second, and Montefiore has landed a very very good position, third, just being restrained for cover now on the outside of Dallas Ann. Two further back to the three-year-old Animo on the outside of I'm Thunderstruck. Further back to Very Elegant, racing alongside Mount Popper and two and a half lengths away to do it. Could be about seven or eight lengths off the lead, so it's Zaki in front, leading by three quarters to think it over. Dallas Ann leaders back third and one out, one back, Montefilia. They're followed after two lengths then to I'm Thunderstruck, who's getting a pretty good run on the inside of the cold Animo, further back to Very Elegant is about six off the lead on the outside of Mount Popper, and Dewis is right on the coattails of Very Elegant as they race inside the 1,000 metres now, and it's Zaki on top by a half length to think it over Montefilia is travelling very strongly in third, followed by Dallas San, then came Animo Very Elegant moves up out wide from I'm Thunderstruck, Mount Popper and Dewis once again, pa, keeping his powder dry, sits back last, they've got 600 metres to run, and it's Zaki in front by a half length to think it over as they start to really up the tempo now. I'm Thunderstruck's improving along the rails. Then came Montefilia. She's trying to pick up. Very elegant getting wide. Dewis to the outside and Mount Popper back to the rails. Into the straight and Zaki still in front. Think it over's coming to the stand rail. This is interesting. Zaki in front. Think it over coming down the outside fence and they're well clear from the arrivals at the moment. I'm Thunderstruck. Mount Popper making ground. Zaki in front. Think it over. Can Nash get it home? He's coming right down the outside. Zaki in front. Think it over. Down the stands rail. Lunges. Gets up. Think it over. What a ride. Nash for Willa. In spectacular style. Wins the Queen Elizabeth running down Zaki. Mount Popper, I'd say, third from Very Elegant. Then Dallasan from Duasan. Thunderstruck. Modophilia. And awakening out of the end, Animo. Think it over has caused a big upset on the heavy track today. A surface he's never handled, so Nash has decided to go where no one has dared today, to the outside fence. And the Kerry Parker trained horse from Kembla has won the $4 million long jeans Queen Elizabeth stakes today, running down Zaki, who gave such a bold sight in the middle part of the track and a gap back to Mount Popper, who's closed off towards the inside, and Mount... Incredible, and Darren summed it up so brilliantly. Can you believe what Nash worked out to do here? Jamie looked all over, he wouldn't have space the others. They've left them in their wake. 
and just when we thought it was going to be Zaki, it was another son of So You Think getting the money. So, Emma, this is incredible. I mean, this horse has been under the radar so often, and today he was under the grandstand and wins the big one. An extraordinary victory by Think It Over and for Kerry Parker. You've just beaten the best horses in the country and proven that this horse is, is someone to take note of. Can you take me through that moment halfway down the straight where you can hear Darren Flindell going, oh, wow, this is interesting because he jumped over to the left rail and made things very interesting indeed. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it, the plan was to make sure he was forward and keep them honest and try and get them off the bit chasing. Uh, but Nash has, uh, you know, made the aim just to go straight to the outside fence um, where no one had been today. You know, uh, he sort of went to the inside fence on one earlier to have a look and thought, no, we'll, we'll go to the outside. And Nash has just pulled that off and, like a freak. So you discussed that earlier, saying no, that not, was the not better so part. Not so much of... to go to the outside, but the, the go was to put pressure on him and if, uh, put pressure on Zaki, make sure that they don't turn it into a sprint home. How do you feel about this as the biggest thrill of your career? Oh, sensational. Do uh, you know when everyone writes him off, that's when he's at his best. Him and I both. You know, uh, there was no way we came here today not trying to win, and uh, Nash has just proved that. During the week, the talk had all been about very elegant Zaki on Thunderstruck, Jewess, Animo. What were you doing sitting at home, going, "All right, my guy's ticking along nicely." I was just putting more on at 40s. <laughs> well, we should give him 